Disease epidemics and pandemics have been some of the greatest historical threats to humanity through the ages. When people reel off numbers and statistics about the great plagues of the past, it can be easy to lose perspective on just how horrific these national and international tragedies have been. Today we're going to take a look at 10 of history's most nightmarish epidemics and pandemics and tell you exactly how devastating each has been. Number 10. Yellow Fever 1694 to 1878. While it may have been a while since some of you heard about yellow fever, from the 1600s to the early 1900s it was one of the most feared diseases on the planet. Though scientists estimate the disease is possibly over 3,000 years old, it's described by the World Health Organization as an acute viral hemorrhagic disease transmitted via mosquito bites. The key symptoms of the disease are headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, muscle pain, and jaundice, which gives the disease its name due to the slightly yellow tint it often gives the skin it suffers. And yellow fever is not to be messed with. Those who develop severe symptoms often die within a week to 10 days. Yellow fever has spread like wildfire in mosquito-filled tropical areas like the Caribbean and numerous countries in the Americas, including the United States. The yellow fever epidemics of 1694 to 1855, which ravaged Boston, Philadelphia, and Norfolk, Virginia, were brutal. But the 1878 outbreaks in the Mississippi River Valley were the worst of all. Over the spring and summer of that year, around 120,000 people were infected with yellow fever, and from 13,000 to 20,000 of those infected individuals died from the disease. Because its infection vector is in mosquitoes, the disease can spread incredibly quickly from just one infected person to a whole community in a hot or tropical environment. Thankfully, scientists have since developed an extremely effective vaccine against the disease that is generally both affordable and easy to access. However, this hasn't stopped cases from popping up sporadically in Africa, Asia, and South America. Number 9. Japanese Smallpox Epidemic 735-737 Things really took a turn for the worst with the horrific Japanese smallpox epidemic of the 700s. This won't be the last time we encounter smallpox on this list, and that's because it's an extremely infectious and dangerous disease caused by the variola major virus. Smallpox causes fever, vomiting, and infectious sores and scabbing across the body that can spread the virus through contact. And it can also cause oozing pustules on the tongue and in the throat, which makes the virus spreadable through droplets in the air released by coughing. The fatality rate for smallpox at its worst is as high as a terrifying 30%. As an example of this truly scary mortality rate in action, we turn to Japan in the 8th century, starting in the northern Kyushu region in 735. By the time the viral outbreak reached its peak in 737, it's believed to have killed up to 1 million people. The prevalence and deadliness of smallpox outbreaks in Japan even made a lasting cultural scar on Japanese folklore, with the belief that the disease was caused by a demonic entity, because something this awful surely had to be supernatural in nature. Number 8. Hong Kong Flu 1968-1970 Back to an old favorite you're also likely to see a lot more on this list, the flu, specifically the H3N2 strain aka the Hong Kong flu, the third influenza pandemic to occur in the 20th century. Part of the reason you so often see flus and variations of the flu in major global pandemics is that it's one of the more hardy and adaptable viruses out there. Many strains of flu, the Hong Kong flu included, undergo a process known as antigenic drift. Quick biology lesson, it's hard to fall victim to the same strain of the virus twice because the body's immune system can recognize the virus and create the proper antibodies to fight it. When a virus undergoes antigenic shift though, it's essentially like wearing a disguise that allows it to mount a sneak attack on the body. Before your immune system knows what hit it, you're in deep trouble. That was definitely the case for the victims of the Hong Kong flu, which is believed to have mutated from an earlier strain from 1957. The disease is estimated to have killed between 1 and 4 million people worldwide in its two years of major activity, most of which were people over 60. Number 7. The Antonine Plague 165 to 180 Next, an ancient plague so brutal that it's said to have aided in the collapse of the legendary Roman Empire. Also known as the Plague of Galen, named after the Greek physician who first identified it, this mysterious disease is thought to have been brought back to the Roman Empire by legionnaires who'd done tours in East Asia. The disease first manifested in Asia Minor, before spreading to Greece, and then eventually to Italy itself, where it spread like wildfire in the densely populated cosmopolitan cities like Rome, killing as many as 2,000 people a day at the height of its devastation. Nobody could really understand the plague, let alone fight it. It's believed that the disease even killed two of the empire's rulers, Lucius Verus and Marcus Aurelius. 
The final death toll is believed to have been 7 to 10 percent of the Roman Empire, though some estimate it as high as 15 percent as it spread to other European countries like Spain and further into Egypt and South Africa. And what was this mystery disease believed to be? Based on accounts of symptoms at the time, scholars believe it was most likely an outbreak of smallpox. See, we told you it would come back. Number 6. The Third Plague, 1855 the Third Plague was a record-breaker in a number of terrible categories. It not only straddled an over 100-year period from 1855 to 1959, it was also the first case of bubonic plague to strike all five major continents. With major outbreaks in Hong Kong in 1894, Bombay in 1896, Sydney in 1900, Cape Town in 1901, and Los Angeles in 1924. It also caused around 12 million deaths during its reign of terror, devastating populations worldwide, and it inspired containment measures unlike anything the world had ever seen before, to varying degrees of success. Having gained knowledge of the virus's transmission through fleas and rats, as well as its early warning signs and symptoms, the infected areas mounted a hardcore defense against the invading disease. Toward the end of the 19th century, doctors were experimenting with plague serums that often killed as many people as they cured. Other methods used involved vast quarantines and controlled rodent burns meant to contain the spread. Ultimately, a lot of these methods weren't much use, but it did set precedence in terms of the scale of global reaction to a major viral pandemic. Number 5. HIV AIDS 1981 to Present One of the most well-known sexually transmitted diseases of all time is the human immunodeficiency virus and the acquired immune deficiency syndrome that sometimes results from it if left untreated. More commonly known as HIV and AIDS, the disease spreads through bodily fluids and sexual contact or through the sharing of needles or botched blood transfusions. If left untreated, the disease can lead to infected people becoming devastatingly immunocompromised, often leading to death from another infection that the body can no longer fight off. The modern HIV-AIDS epidemic first became known in 1981 and has continued through to today. There are currently around 37.7 million people living with HIV-AIDS today, and since its discovery, the disease has killed over 25 million people. What makes the HIV-AIDS epidemic particularly egregious is the poor government response to containing the outbreak and properly treating those infected. The attitude toward the virus was exemplified by the advice Washington gave the Center for Disease Control in approaching the outbreak, with the gist of their guidance being to look pretty and do as little as possible. As a result, millions of the deaths that resulted from HIV-AIDS were likely extremely preventable if the proper treatment had been given. Many of the people infected with HIV-AIDS, especially during the early years, were gay, African-American, poor, or drug users. This is often stated as the main reason for the lax governmental response to the disease. Thankfully, in the last few decades, research into HIV-AIDS has pioneered treatments that give sufferers long and fulfilling lives in spite of their illness. Number 4. Plague of Justinian 541 to 542. Now onto a plague of truly mythic proportions. In more recent years, the sheer extent of the effect of the plague of Justinian has been cast into doubt, but many historical accounts of this plague place its death toll between 25 and 50 million, around 10% of the world population at the time. Much like the more recent third plague we mentioned earlier, this was likely another case of extremely dangerous bubonic plague spread by rats and their fleas across the Byzantine Empire in the 6th century. The plague of Justinian likely originated in Asia, but infected rats were inadvertently brought into African nations like Egypt through Roman trade routes. Like almost all major outbreaks of the bubonic plague, cases spread like wildfire across the cosmopolitan empire, bringing death and destruction wherever it went. After hearing enough of these accounts, you begin to really understand the sentiment behind the old cliché, avoid it like the plague. Number 3. Spanish Flu 1918-1919 these final three are the deadliest pathogenic outbreaks in the history of mankind, starting with history's most dangerous case of influenza, the Spanish flu of 1918, which devastated a post-World War I world with a confirmed 40 to 50 million deaths across the globe. The disease is believed to have originated in military personnel returning from the battlegrounds of war and introducing the disease back into the civilian populations, where it went on to infect a third of the global population. While, like many flus, this disease was particularly deadly to the young and elderly, what made the Spanish flu even more horrifying was the fact that it also had an extremely high mortality rate of healthy young people aged around 25. The lack of effective flu vaccines at the time allowed the Spanish flu to sweep across the globe like the Grim Reaper, claiming the lives of tens of millions. Number 2. Smallpox 1520 
And we return to smallpox one last time for the only incident in recorded history where a virus was complicit in a man-made genocide multiple times. Until its eventual eradication through treatment and the development of vaccines, smallpox was one of the greatest threats to human life. In Europe in the 1800s, it's believed that the virus killed almost half a million people every year. In the late 1700s, it's believed that Native Americans were murdered by being tricked into accepting smallpox-infected blankets by the British and the Americans, accounting for almost 90% of indigenous people killed at the time. But this specific example, occurring in the year 1520, shows that smallpox being brought into South America by Spanish conquistadors may have been the final nail in the coffin of the Aztecs. After being introduced to the Aztec coastal territories by the Spanish in the mid to late 1510s, the disease spread inward until it reached the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan in 1520. A year and 56 million deaths later, the Aztec civilization fell, leaving the territory that would later become modern Mexico up for grabs. And you better believe the conquistadors grabbed it, stepping over millions of Aztec bodies to do so. Today, the disease is making a global comeback tour thanks to overprivileged first world soccer moms who don't believe in vaccines. And finally, number one, the bubonic plague, aka the Black Death, 1347 to 1351. We've saved the very worst for last. When it comes to the Black Death of the 14th century, the lucky ones died quickly. The unlucky ones lived long enough to see society collapse around them as their body erupted in the large oozing buboes that gave the disease its name before the unbearable sickness and pain brought them to their end. The Black Death killed a third, and by some estimates almost half of Europe's population. In the four-year period this disease was most active, after being carried into mainland Europe by stowaway rats with their own infected stowaway fleas on trading ships, it killed over 200 million people. The devastation of the Black Death was so horrific that it took the continent over 200 years to return to its pre-plague population and left its mark as one of history's greatest catastrophes, killing roughly twice the number of people as World War I and II combined. So remember folks, wash your hands and don't kiss any rats you find on random ships. Thanks for watching this episode of the Infographic Show. If you're doing the right thing and staying indoors, don't worry about getting bored. We've got plenty more viral videos to keep you entertained. Why not check out diseases that will kill you the quickest and scientists wake up ancient viruses unknown to man? Stay safe and stay healthy.